Kirsty TV. My guest today, Jules Bruff, is an incredible woman, an amazing award-winning actress and filmmaker. She's been suffering from depression since her early 20s and decided to speak out and share her story to help others despite the stigma that is attached. Thanks for being here today, Jules. Thanks for having me, Kirsty. So Jules, one of the things that you spoke about with me is that you felt like you were almost you had this facade of the happy, cute actress, and that's what everybody saw. What was really going on behind that facade for you? I was feeling alone and down and like, sometimes like there wasn't any hope, but I felt like that was, you know, I certainly wasn't gonna get an acting job, allowing that part of me to be seen by the world. So I kept it quiet and secret. And it was embarrassing because I thought, you know, I'm attractive, I have an education, I'm from a good family. I shouldn't be depressed. So when did you start to realize that this was clinical depression? Well, when I was 20 and I went to the University of Colorado at Boulder, it hit me. Like I had been fine, I had been a happy, normal kid. And it wasn't until I'd say 11 years later when I found a medication that actually what I call leveled the playing field and I felt like I was sort of able to be in the world, a functioning adult like my coworkers, peers, colleagues, that I started to really get better. So it was 11 years of sort of trying medication, getting off medication, going in and out of therapy and, and not really looking at it, like I said, as um, a condition. And just trying to figure out what's going to work. Yeah. Was it hard for you accepting that you were going to need medication to get your head around Oh, that? yeah. I don't know why that's such a hard one. I know that's, yeah. I'm for sure, a lot of people. everybody you knows someone who's like, oh, he went off his meds or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was hard because then it's admitting that it is real. Yeah. yeah. And so you said to me that you hit rock bottom. Mm -hmm. What was rock bottom for you? Rock bottom for me was when I'd been in this relationship with this guy and he'd moved in and everything seemed great. I thought I was going to marry him. And he he's the one who called me out on that facade. He was like, you know, out in the world, you seem great and fine. But at home, I see there's something wrong. Like, what's wrong with you? What's going on? And actually... He's, he's the one who said, you're part-time fabulous. And that's and I said at the moment that he said that, I was like, oh, that's the name of a movie. Can I use that? And he was like, sure. And I think hearing it spoken in those words, I started to see myself, like really see myself like, oh, I don't have to be living like this. I don't know how to change it, but I better figure it out. Nobody's going to do it for me. Is it hard for you knowing that it will always come back, that it's kind of there? Yeah. That's not my favorite part about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's hard about that? Um, I don't want to get emotional. It just, it's not fun. It's like yeah. a terrible place to live in. Yeah. But uh, the thing that I do know now, because of my many years with it, is that it will pass as well. Yeah. It, it pr perhaps will come back, but it will always pass. Yeah, you have to know that. Because if yeah. you don't, then you might allow yourself to go completely down that rabbit hole and say, well, what's the use? If I'm going to feel like this, if I'm feeling like this, what's the purpose? Because this feeling is so overwhelmingly dark and uncomfortable. Yeah. And do you think that over time it gets easier? Because, you know, I know someone who suffered from depression and, mm -hmm. you know, he literally, he did try to commit suicide several times. Thank mm -hmm. God they weren't successful. But now he's living a healthy, happy life with family and mm -hmm. his life is so different from two decades ago. Mm -hmm. So even though he had these you know, this real struggle with depression, mm -hmm. there was a light at the end of the tunnel. So do you feel like it's getting better as you're learning oh, more about it? Yeah, it's so much better. I mean, I'm an emotional person to begin with. I'm an actress. And so like, I'm very yeah. in touch with my emotions and that's something yeah. that will never go away. But no, I, I get that life is awesome and fun and yeah. to be enjoyed. And I feel like something that I've discovered I'm good at is sharing my story, which is yeah. what my, my film was, you know, been to many festivals and people always come up afterwards and they're like, thank you so much. You know, that was my experience or, oh my gosh, now I understand what my brother has been going through or whatever. So I'm like, oh, that's something. And it takes away that stigma and yeah. people understand this is something real that people are feeling. Yeah. I have no idea that that would be part of my path. Like it's so crazy, but it's been a gift for sure. And if you met a, a you know, 10 year old girl who was having depression or a teenager, um, what would you say to them? that everyone deals with it in a different way, but the, the thing that I found that everyone needs to do is admit it, it yeah. first admit it. Like, okay, this is not, life doesn't have to be this sad yeah. and hard and lonely. And so 
What am I going to do to fix it for myself? And what do you say to people going forward? What do you think is important for people to know? You have to exercise, eat right, surround yourself with positive people, find a good therapist, maybe be on medication, try different things, yeah. and really make it your mission to get yourself well. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story, Jules. Oh, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. It was great. Hug. Uh. <laughs> Well, I know that everyone is going to get something out of Jules' story. I think the most important thing is that if you're suffering in any way, you reach out to the people that are around you and you ask for help. I encourage you all to do that and I look forward to seeing you next time.